Hi guys, Russ here from Wilson Land and Cattle Company. We're building a pipe reel today. We need two of them for on the back of our piston pump for our portable water pumping system that we're building to roll the piping back up after we're done with it for the year. It's gonna go on the back of the, the pump. That's the pump house there. It's gonna go on the back here You'll be able to reel them up from each side. Is I'm building it out of sucker rods because that's what I have. You know me, I, I build a lot of stuff out of, I build things out of stuff that I already have or I try to. It costs less money that way. And you can see I have them all cut out. I need a pipe reel for the inch and a quarter pipe. That's the suction line. And then I need a pipe reel for the three quarter inch line, which goes out to the cattle. I don't know, we're kind of making it up as we go along because this stuff's kind of hard to deal with. But I cut washers, steel washers with a hole saw. And then I drilled a one inch hole in the center for the shaft that's gonna go through the center to, to reel it up with. And what I'm going to do, I just laid this out. I didn't measure nothing yet. And I'm not going to until after I have it tacked. I'm going to tack every one of these pieces inside here. Tack weld it. And then we'll measure it. I'll get it up on a bench or something that I can actually do something without having to be down on my knees all the time. And with the tack welds, I'll be able to bend and get every one of these perfectly evenly spaced the whole way around and then we'll cut steel rods for around the ends and then we're gonna have to put steel rods down in lower to support it some before we get started please subscribe like comment share with a friend hit that notification bell and check the description below for a link to our merchandise store we also have uh, links to products that we use here on the farm quite frequently. But okay, well, let me get this welded up and then we'll, uh, we'll go from there. Hopefully it goes well. <laughs> we'll see. This pipe or this, these suck, round sucker rods are really hard to deal with because they're wanting to roll on me. So we'll see how, how it turns out. I don't know. Shouldn't be too bad though. Our wheels tacked together and I measured them. They're equal distance the whole way around, 25 inches. And then I took a, a sliding square and got my angle for in between here. And we set the metal cotton bandsaw at that angle. Okay, let's go see how we did. Need to shorten it up some by the looks of it. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Angles are good. Fits in there nicely. You just need seven more of these. I'll get those cut and then we'll go get back them in place. Okay, we have everything cut for one wheel and lay it out. I tried clamping everything, but they just keep falling apart. So I'm just going to tack them and go around and tack them as I go just to make my life easier. So let me get these, this welded up and we'll do the next step. I think we'll probably just go ahead and, and weld this whole thing together. I was going to put another brace in here, but I'm not sure I need it because there's going to be a brace going um, sideways to 
because the spool needs to be approximately 40 inches around for inch and a half pipe. So that's what we're going to do there. And we'll see what it, what the strength is of it then. Um, and we'll, we'll adjust as necessary. We got one done and we got three more to do. And that there actually turned out a lot better than I thought it would. So I'm very pleased with that. It seems to be pretty solid too. So I don't think we're going to need bracing across here. We're just going to need our bracing for our, our spool, inside spool diameter. So I'm happy about that. Looks good. Got one done. The first one's always the worst. So we know what we're doing now and we'll be able to get the rest of them done. Okay, guys. Story time. The last place that I was employed... I messed something up and I went to the boss and I said, we have a problem. He said to me, he says, we don't have a problem. We have an opportunity. So I have an opportunity. Whenever I built this, built this pipe rack, I didn't take an account for this here sticking out. So what I got to do is I need to cut this off and move move the the um, overhang back about two or three inches. We got our our brackets made for our pipe reel. We just put a couple uprights on it. These here are cheap bearings you can pick these bearings up for about five bucks a piece pillow block bearings this here will be for the three quarter inch pipe this here's for the inch and a quarter pipe i don't think it needs to be this big now that i got it up here so we'll see and then this here should hold about a thousand feet of three quarter inch pipe and it spins spins okay and we're going to put uh, spacers in here on each one of these this here needs to be out to 40 inches. And this here, I believe the inside center has to be at least 15 inches. You can't go too, too tight whenever you're, whenever you're doing pipe. Garden hose, you could probably start a garden hose on there and, and wind it up on there. It's flexible enough, but a pipe isn't. We need to, to move our, our centers out they're gonna be out about that far, I guess. So, but anyhow, I got an opportunity to make this overhang a little bit shorter, which really isn't gonna be a problem, I don't think. It's just a little, just an extra time, I guess. Just gotta take a screw out here, screw here, one there and one there, and we'll take the tin loose and pull it up. I may even just take the tin completely off. That way I got room to get in here with the saw and cut this off. Okay, we got the pipe reels done. All made out of sucker rods, free material that I've had laying around here. The only thing I had to buy for this is the pillow block bearings and the welding rod. That's all I needed to buy. Just had it laying around. We have it on 40 inch diameter. From here to here, the pipe will wrap on the outside of that inch and a quarter pipe. You don't want to go much less than 40 inches because you can't get it curled in right. And then I have bracing this bigger one wanted to flex back and forth so i put bracing on every other one out on this and then i put one back in the back so that's that's the big pipe reel this is the little pipe reel this here's for three quarter inch black plastic pipe built a crank crank handle for it Kind 
kind of reminds you of a Ferris wheel, huh? Let's figure out how much pipe this will hold. Something interesting. It doesn't look like it will hold very much, does it? So you're only putting pipe from here to here. Let's figure out what it will hold. We'll say that the black pipe looks like inch and five eighths, but we're gonna say it's inch and three quarter. Inch and three quarter. And then our diameter here, Our diameter here is 22 and a half. Like my paper. And then if I remember right, it should be about 14 inches deep. It's 13 inches deep. 13 inches. And then from here to here is 40 inches, 39 actually. I made it a little bit smaller to accommodate more pipe. So it's 39 inches. Now this is gonna be rough because the further out the reel you go, the more pipe it's gonna hold because your, your diameter is gonna get bigger. But this here is just a rough, rough estimate. I'll show you how we do it. Here's another, another piece of paper I had. I needed to write a phone number down yesterday. Our pipe is 22 and a half inches wide, so we take 22.5 and divide it by 1.75. We should be able to put like 13. 13 pipes next to one another. So we got 13 there. It's 13 inches deep and it's gonna get, like I said, the pipe's gonna get longer. So this is just gonna be a rough guesstimate. So 13 divided by 1.75 equals 7.42. We're gonna call it seven because we can't put half a pipe sticking out. Okay, seven layers of pipe. And our inside diameter is 39 point or 39. So in order to get the radius of that, we need to take 39 times 3.14 equals 122 inches, which is just a little over 10 feet. So it'd be about 10, 10 point two, two oh five feet. Okay. So we take 7 times 13, 7 times 13, we can have 91 pipes on there, okay? And each wrap is going to be 10.205 times 10.205. 205 equals 928 feet which that's almost double of what I had figured I figured at least enough for 500 feet so the spool's not going to be completely full and I'm good for that so that's how we figure out how much pipe would fit on that spool and it's probably going to be closer to a thousand feet because of the diameter of the spool is going to get larger as we go so that's how we figure out how much pipe we can fit on those reels. And the other one I cheated, I have a spool of pipe and I was able to measure the spool and it should hold approximately 750 to 800 feet, the three quarter inch pipe. This here is for the inch and a quarter pipe. And now we're gonna, that's how, that's how we figure that out. If you guys need a, a pipe, pipe reel there's one and I kind of like how this here turned out and we're starting to use black poly pipe on the farm more and more and I may be building another one of these for on my side by side because we're starting to do away with our garden hoses it really turned out nice don't forget to subscribe like 
comment, share with a friend, hit that notification bell, and we'll talk to you on the next one. So long.